Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. Papa has learned that being the owner of a movie company doesn't entitle him to much fame. Not when directors, actors, producers, and writers have to be given credit first. Now we find Mama and Papa at home. Mama is writing a letter. When husband, Jacob Bloom, who you know is, uh, Jake. Jake. Jake! Hmm? Did you call me, Becky? Like the man who calls out what trains ain't in, I'm hollering. Are you sleeping? No, no, I'm not sleeping. Then why are you sitting there with your eyes closed? Are you playing hide-and-go-stick? I'm sitting here with my eyes closed because I got a headache at the back of my head. Well, if it ain't all over, it ain't such a bad headache. That's what you think. Take some respirant tablets. Anyway, why have you got a headache? You should ask that now. Yeah, I should ask and... I forgot. I called you to ask you how I should be spelling executive. Executive? Yeah. Why should you be wanting to write that word into a letter? Papa, don't ask why I'm writing words in a letter. A letter's a lot of words put together. No. Mm -hmm. And if you don't tell me how to spell executive, I'll have to cross out the rest of the paragraphs. And I can't do that because this is my last piece of stationery. The stationery with my middle initial in it. All right, but tell me, Becky, why do you want to write executive? Who are you writing to? Mrs. Fink, Harold's mother. Harold's mother, Mm -hmm. Mrs. Fink. (laughs) Now, I do want to know why you should be wanting to know how to spell executive. All right. If we got to make a bargain just so I should be knowing how to spell the word, I'll tell you. I am writing to Mrs. Fink, and I'm telling her that you are a movie executive. But why should you write that to her? Harold told her already, I'll bet you. Papa, you're making me very exasperated. Exasperated, Mama. I'm getting annoyed. Annoyed. Stop it, Papa. We are still very far away from knowing how to spell executive. And you keep asking me questions like they're playing, go ahead, ask me. All right, so my headache shouldn't get worse, I'll tell you. Good. Uh, executive. Oh, uh, E... X, E, Q, uh, C, U, T, I, V, E. Never mind. Never mind what? Never mind telling me how to spell it. <laughs> so we spend half an hour arguing about a word. Then when I tell you how to spell it, you don't want it. What kind of business is that? It's no business, Jake. The void is too long to get at the end of the page. Think of another one for me. A void that means the same thing, but it's just a little shorter. Maybe three letters, Sean. Oh, look, Mom, I've got a very bad headache, like somebody is hitting me in the back of the head with a hammer. Now you want I should be giving you a word a little shorter than executive. All right, just put in Slamil. How do you spell it? Uh, never mind. Just put in Sydney's name, it will still mean the same thing. Sydney ain't an executive. Mom, I'll give you $1,000 if you'll tell that to Sydney. You shouldn't waste money like that, Papa. I wouldn't be wasting money, Becky. You could be telling Sydney he ain't an executive, but he wouldn't believe it. Sydney knows what he is, no matter what I say or what anybody else is saying. Look what he does. I own the company. Do I get my name in any place at all? No. It's all Sydney and all Harold. Even in the knee pants business, once in a while a letter came for me. Maybe it was just a bill, but it was addressed to me just the same. Mm. But now, now I get nothing but bills anyhow, and they're all addressed to the business, not to me. You know, Papa, you sound just like a man who's making a speech. And just like the man, you still ain't told me what I want to know. Uh, Mama, instead of thinking up another word for executive, will you settle for the word boss and ten minutes of being quiet? That's good, Jake. That's good. That's good. That's good, she said. So I'll finish the sentence. Listen, Jake, how's this sounding to you? Oh, no, no, no. My husband, Jacob Bloom, who you know, is the big boss. 
It sounds good to me, and it just fills up the page. Yeah, that's all I'm good for, to fill up a page. Maybe to fill up a chair at the office, but only one chair. A lot of things happen around me, but I don't know anything that is going on. Papa, you shouldn't always be looking so blink. <laughs> I will tell you something. And don't close your eyes when I'm telling you, because when I th then I think you're asleep. I am listening, Mom. I am listening. I don't listen with my eyes that I should keep them open. You can do two things at once, Papa. You can't keep your ears open and your eyes closed. That, I can't. All right, all right. I'll keep my eyes and ears open. No, no, what are you going to tell me? Drake, you remember the time when you was a young man and you was new in the tailoring business? Sure, 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 sure. I remember. All right, all right. Now keep remembering while I'm talking. Mm. So? You was a young man in the tailoring business. So I was a young man in the tailoring yeah. business. And you was very, very full from ambition, just like Sidney and Harold you was. I was not. If I had been like Sidney and Harold when I was young, I wouldn't be this old. Somebody would have killed me early. But nobody did. Hmm. And you was still like Sidney and Harold, full from ambition. Mama. You ran around just like they are doing now. You was very important. You see, Jake, young people like to act important. And old people like you and me should let them be that way. Because if we don't, We'll give them prohibitions. We'll give them what, Mama? Prohibitions. I read that while I was sitting once to see Dr. Birnbaum. It was in a magazine. It was... Well, <laughs> go ahead, Mama, go ahead. I am, Jake. So I'm saying you should let Sidney and Harold run around like they want to. They ain't hurting nothing. And while they're running around, they're learning things. Maybe they do get in your haircut once in a while. But remember, you was young once, too. Ah, uh, Mama, when you talk like that, I can't get mad. So that's good. Now I'll finish my letter to Mrs. Fink. And even if you ain't getting your name in the picture, I will tell her that you are the power behind the hate ball. Behind the throne, Mama, behind the throne. Behind the hate ball means that I'm in bed, that I'm in trouble. Uh, then when I hear you talk, I should leave it behind the hate ball. Uh, you should write your letter, Becky. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what I got here. It's a big boy. Yeah. You know, Jake, I am thinking that maybe you are tired. Maybe you need a rest. <laughs> We went on a vacation so that I could take a rest. Well, am I getting it? So maybe we should take a little trip. What? Becky, are you crazy? How could I take a little trip with a new picture we're going to make? It ain't ready yet, Jake. Yeah, but it will be ready soon, so I can take a little trip. And another thing, I am going to tell Sidney and Harold that if I am putting up the money for the picture, yes, I want my name someplace in it. Do you want to wear one of the iron suits and ride the horse? Do... Once you was in one of the iron suits and we had to hammer you out of but it. But I... And you can't ride the horse. You ain't the Jakey. Jackie. And I don't care if I ride a horse or not. If I am putting up the money for the picture, I want I should be mentioned just a little bit. Now you're getting all worked down about it again. Just a minute ago, you was very quiet. And you said you wouldn't get mad. Yes, but I am thinking about it again, and I changed my mind. Papa, no wonder you've got a headache. How could you keep from getting a headache when you're changing your mind so often? Even your brain ain't able to keep up. My... It keeps jumping up and down like a jackrabbit. You know something, Mama? I'm going to put my foot down. Put your shoes on for it, Papa. No, no, I don't mean it that way. I mean I'm going to tell Sidney and Harold that I should be mentioned in the picture. Well, maybe that would be nice, Jay. Sure, sure, but sure. <laughs> mm, that would look very nice. Then all our friends in New York would go to see the picture and see your name. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, Mama, I bet we'd get a big kick out of it. Jacob Bloom. It's a nice name, Becky, a nice name. Of course, it's a nice name. And then I'd be able to have just a little something on Mrs. Fink. Yeah. Monroe Fink gets his name in the magazines all the time because he's president of a company. Yeah. But only people who see the magazines see his name. That's right. Yeah, but a lot of people would see your name, Papa. And I would be so proud of you. So, Mama, so you think I should have my name in the picture, huh? Yeah, I think so. In very big letters. Well, not too big, Becky. Make maybe uh, something like, well, maybe six inches high. Drake, it's your company. And you should take more than six inches. Well, maybe letters are foot high. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> Jacob Bloom, a <are> foot high. <laughs> yeah. You know something, Mama? My headache is gone. I don't feel it anymore. I know, Jake. When you're happy, you can't feel a headache. That's why we have headaches when we're worrying. So that when we're happy, we feel twice as good. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to the office right away because I feel better. Uh, where's my hat and coat, Becky? In the bedroom, Jack, in the closet. Where you didn't put them when you took them off last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Mama. So, I'm going to the studio and lay down the lot to Sydney and Harold. Papa? Huh? Papa, remember, a foot high. Yeah, yeah, foot high, Becky. Hey, Becky, maybe we could make the picture in color so I could use gold letters. Jacob Bloom would look very lovely in gold letters. No, no, I think I'll settle for black ones. Maybe later I'll work up to the colored ones. Well, I'm going to get my hat and my coat. Yeah. Jake, somebody's at the door. You answer the door and I'll get your hat and pull. Oh, all right, Mama. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Pa. I thought I'd find you here. Oh, you did, huh? You did. That wasn't so smart to figure out. When I ain't in the office, I'm at home. So you only got two places to look. Smart guy, Here's huh? Here's your hat and coat, Papa. Hello, Ma. Hello, Sidney. 
Uh, is something wrong? Who should we hear? No, nothing at all. I just dropped in to see Pa. Oh, yeah. Papa was just going to the studio. Well, I'll save him a trip. Sydney. Sydney, I know I shouldn't ask you this, but why did you come here? Well, let's go in and sit down, huh? Is it something I have to sit down to hear? I couldn't take it standing up, is that it? <laughs> Not at all, Pa. In fact, you're going to like this. Well, sit down. Sit down. Tell us, Sydney. Yeah. You, you didn't spend any more money? Nope, not yet. But I got a surprise for you, Pa, and are you going to get a kick out of it? Well, you shouldn't keep us in suspension, Sydney. What have you got? Oh, well, you see it. Sydney, don't play guessing games. Papa's in a hurry to get to the studio. No, 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 no. Not now, I ain't. Not now. <laughs> was only in a hurry when I knew Sydney was there. I always feel safer when I know where he is. <laughs> okay, Pa. Now, wait till I open this briefcase. Look at that, Papa. Ain't that pretty? Initials and all just like stationery. <laughs> Sydney, did you get a discount? A little. It's real pigskin. Papa, don't touch it. Oi. Well, never mind. I'll get it open and then show you something really colossal. <laughs> Ay, a zipper. Ah, a zipper, Mom. A zipper, not zipper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, Sydney. Yeah. What do you got to show me? Just a second. I'll get it unfolded. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> ah. There you are. Had it made up as a sample. Oh, my. Look at that, Papa. Ain't that lovely? There's a man and a horse in an iron suit. Uh, the man is in the iron suit, not the horse. It's an advanced copy for the picture. Of course, we haven't thought of a title yet, but we will. Well, how do you like it, Pa? Mm, mm, nice, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Mm, lovely. A real artist, huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. I want to know just one thing. What is it, Pa? Right here on the top, it says, Yasha Blumikoff Presents. Who is this Yasha Blumikoff? Well, that's the surprise, Pa. You see, you're Yasha Blumikoff. What? Yeah, Jake Bloom didn't look so well, so he changed the name. You did the... Oh, uh, Papa, you're a bigamist. Uh...